Hey guys, it's Renzi Gaming here, and welcome back to another video, and today we are going to go over the huge new change log for the update that is going to be coming out within the next 7 to 10 days, well 6 to 8 now I guess, it's been a day since then, and there's a huge list, so I'm just going to get into the video and try and explain this gigantic list to you guys. Alright guys, so first thing we're going to go through is the new items, we've got armor stands which are absolutely sick. Raw rabbits, cooked rabbit, rabbit stew, raw mutton, cooked mutton, so that's the kind of sheeps and stuff, rabbit's foot, rabbit's hide, potion of leaping, which is going to be sick for map building, I'm so hyped for that, as well as potion of water breathing, all the new fish, you've got salmon, cooked salmon, clownfish, puffer fish, all the new flowers, blue orchids, allium, azi, bluet, they really don't like to give me normal names, tulips, oxy, Ye daisy, sorry I can't pronounce these flowers, sunflower, lilac, poppy which replaces the rose, so basically it's just renaming that. We've got rose bushes, peony, double tall grass, large ferns, prismarine crystals and prismarine shards. And then for creative mode only of course the standard, rabbit spawn egg, endermite spawn egg and guardian spawn egg which are three of the new mobs coming into the next update. Then we're going to move on to the new blocks, like I said there's tons of these you can see on screen. Podzol. Granite, polished granite, andesite, polished andesite, diorite, polished diorite, prismarine, dark prismarine, prismarine blocks, red sand, red sandstone, smooth red sandstone, chiseled red sandstone, red sandstone stairs, sea lanterns, wet sponge, slime blocks, which is super exciting as well for maps, coarse dirt, packed ice, acacia springs, and dark oak saplings. Then we've got the new mobs, of course, like I mentioned earlier. Endermite, Guardian, Elder Guardian, Rabbits, and Chicken Jockeys. I have no idea why they've added them into the game, but I thought that was a pretty sick feature for them to add for no apparent reason. Or maybe there is a reason. Tell me in the comments if you think there is, but I didn't think there was. We've got the new biomes. Mesa, Mega Tiag... I've said that wrong. Tiag... Roof Forest, Birch Forest, Forest, Savanna, Extreme Hills Plus. Not just Extreme Hills, but Extreme Hills Plus. Deep Ocean, Snowless Tiaga, and 20 new technical biomes. I have no idea what that means, but there's probably just a load more cool things. And of course, the updated features, the so things that are already in the game, but have been completely changed. These are pretty huge. Um, fishing. Fishing now has particle effects. Bubbles will show up moving towards the bobber just before the player has something on the hook. This has the appearance of a fish swimming towards the hook, which is sick. Treasure can now be caught while hitching. Treasure is split into three categories, so you've got all the four new fish can catch, which is the raw fish, salmon, clownfish, and puffer fish. Treasure, enchanted fishing rod, now of course you can enchant fishing rods, that is also something new that they've hidden in there. Enchanted bow, enchanted book, name tag, trip wire hook, lily pad, and saddle. And then the junk is damaged fishing rod, water bottle, rotten flesh, string, leather, bowl stick, bone, trip wire hook, ink sacks, and damaged leather boots. Moving on to the enchanting system has been completely changed to keep catch up with the PC version of the game. Enchanting now consumes Lapis Lazuli. Enchanting has been rebalanced. Enchanted books can receive multiple enchantments at once. Moving on to the villagers. Villagers have professional trade now ha have added professions and trading schemes, basically making them more in depth. Villagers will now harvest crops, which is a huge update. It's pretty sick. Villagers will only breed when willing and can be made by giving them free bread, 12 counts of provision, you can force them to breed now. Villagers will turn into witches when struck by lightning. Not too, sure how often that's going to happen, but you know. Might be cool for some map creators like myself. Moving on to the nether portal. New nether portal building rules, which is going to be really cool. Any rectangular shape from 4 times 5 to 23 times 23. That is going to be sick for maps. If the portal in the, bigger is, in the nether is big enough, gas can travel through. Will now be activated by any fire block within the frame. Dispensers have an update as well. They can now place pumpkins or wither skeleton skulls to spawn golems and withers will only place them if the body of the golem or wither is already built in sort of figuration, but that's still pretty cool. The anvils for some reason been rebalanced. Crafting, you can now craft all the moss stones, moss bricks and chisel stone. As far as the furnaces goes, these are all the sort of smallest things, but there are some quite big ones coming up. Cracked stone bricks and sponge are now attainable via smelting. Um, when a furnace runs out of fuel, the smelting process will we rewind, rewind at two times speed. Empty furnaces will only accept fuel and empty buckets in the fuel spot. Yep, that makes sense. That was me being stupid. Because uh, you used to be able to just put random items in that you couldn't smell. Item frames will now emit a redstone signal and can rotate in what 
eight directions, which I thought was pretty cool. So you can sort of put it on like a 45 degree angle, sort of like on the side. Redstone comparators, this is quite big for redstone. Uh, can now detect the rotation of an item in an item frame. So you can do some cool stuff now with item frames. Uh, if you want me to make a redstone tutorial on that, I will in the future. Buttons can now be placed on the top and bottom of blocks, which is sick. Um, might be able to make some find the button maps or just some unique little features with that. Um, power activator rails now dismantle entities riding minecarts. Basically, you can set up like a villager trading system. Cauldrons, cauldrons with water, in them will be put will put out burning en entities, taking away one water level each time. Huge mushroom blocks when harvested with silk touch enchantment. These blocks with corresponding mushroom texture on all sides, rather than like the one with the weird spots. So basically, you can get really cool m mushroom texture, and instead of when you break it, you always got that same boring texture from the mushrooms. Uh, you basically get the full mushroom. I am absolutely tired, but we still got uh, a lot more to go. Uh, so let's keep going. Like I said, this is a huge, huge update. Uh, sponge. Sponge is now available in survival mode with new behavior and texture. Sponge actually has a purpose now. It turns into wet sponge and can snow soak up water. Water particles appear around sponge when this happens. Sponge destroys water blocks from five blocks away in a kind of spear. Sponge soaks up water only when some water is touching it. As far as sugar cane goes, the colour slash shade is affected by biome colour, similar to leaves, grass and vines. Baby zombies now drop XP orbs, didn't know they didn't drop it anyway, but oh well. You can now ignite a creeper with flint and steel. Zombie pigments, adult zombie pigment will forgive after a short time, but will continue intact until the player escapes the aggro distance. A witch can now drink a potion of water breathing when they are trapped underwater can drop a potion of water breathing upon death as a rare drop. Jungle biome. Melons can now be found in patches similar to pumpkins. Swamp biome. Spawn with blue orchard flowers in shallower parts. The coast is covered in staggered dirt block with lily pads in between. I have no idea what that means. Plant Plains biome. Generates three of the new flowers, though I'm not even going to try and pronounce them again, and can generate double tall grass. Extreme hills biome. Snow at higher elevations. Gravel can, re can replace ground cover. Flat valleys near sea level can generate slightly higher now. Well, that was kind of the point of them being extreme hill biomes plus not just extreme hill biomes. Oh my god, I've been going for almost 10 minutes. Ocean biome contains only gravel on the floor instead of sand, dirt, and gravel. The desert temple now spawns with stained clay instead of dyed wool. New landscape feature ocean monument. New enchantments. This is pretty exciting. Look of the sea, lure, and depth strider. So one of them is a fishing, one of them is another one for fishing actually, and then depth strider is moving faster underwater. And then the last little bit here is changes and bug fixes. Um, sheep now drop mutton when they die. Arrows accelerate much quicker underwater and extinguish if on fire. Most mobs can now swim. Skeletons flee from wolves, giving wolves a bit more of purpose. Creepers, skeletons, wither skeletons, and zombies drop their head when killed by charged creepers, which is sort of once again bringing back the being able to set them alight with the flint. Spiders no longer see players through solid blocks. Babies' growth can be accelerated by feeding them. Dicks for players, ad adding additional layers above the maximum height in Superflat. Added flint and steel and fire charge sound effect when igniting blocks. Updated audio for cows and mushrooms. Updated audio for minecarts and created a new tutorial world. So guys, I hope you did enjoy that changelog thing. That took me absolutely ages to read out. But I hope you do appreciate the video. Let's try and smash 10 likes on this video. Um, obviously, I'll make loads of things talking about these features. Little redstone tips and tricks once the update eventually comes out. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here. And we'll see you guys in the next video.